Hi everyone, welcome to Feng Shui Cafe. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to determine whether your house has a good Feng Shui. Well, one of the most important factors is the direction that your house is facing and sitting. With a compass, we can simply find out which of the eight directions your house is facing. That is, north, south, west, east, northwest, northeast, southwest, or southeast. But if we use a traditional Chinese feng shui compass, it would be more accurate because the Chinese compass splits the eight directions into 24 sub-directions. According to ancient Chinese mythology and astrology, there are four celestial animals representing the four different directions around your house. That is, the green dragon, the white tiger, the red phoenix, and the black turtle. So looking out from your front door, the left-hand side of your house is symbolized by the green dragon. The right-hand side is symbolized by the white tiger. The front yard is the red phoenix, while the backyard is represented by the black turtle. With this in mind, a house with good feng shui should have the following characteristics. First, the land at the back of your house should be higher than the land at the front. That is, the turtle side should be higher than the phoenix side. Second, the land on the left should be a bit higher than the land on the right. That is, the dragon side should be higher than the tiger side. If the house does not follow these rules, then it's against the energy and therefore is not considered good feng shui. According to the angle of the sunshine on earth, an ideal feng shui house should be one that is sitting north and facing south. But that's only if you are living in the northern hemisphere. If you are based in the southern hemisphere, a good feng shui house should be sitting south and facing north. An example of a house that's not quite favorable is if it's sitting northeast and facing southwest, or vice versa, that is, sitting southwest and facing northeast. That is because these type of houses get less sunshine, the yin and yang of the houses are therefore not balanced. The shape of the house is also very important. According to the Book of Changes, the floor plan of a good feng shui house is either rectangular or square shaped because in such houses the yin and yang are balanced from all directions the forbidden city in china for example were built based on these principles if you like my video and would like to know more about feng shui please subscribe to my channel